Well, now it looks like life is imitating art on the campaign trail. Hillary Clinton says if she's elected, her husband will take control of the economy. My husband, who I'm going to put in charge of revitalizing the economy, because, you know, he knows how to do it. And... Um, but shouldn't that be her job if she becomes president? Let's ask our Fox News legal analyst, Peter Johnson, Jr. Good Let's morning. Let's do the time warp now. Listen, what's happening now? What year are we in now? Uh, does the 12th and 22nd Amendments of the Constitution mean anything that would prohibit Bill Clinton from becoming the vice president of the United States? So now are we going to have a co-presidency with the spouse really out of the house. So we know what spouses have done in the past. Jackie Kennedy was in charge of the White House refurbishment. Lady Bird Johnson was in charge of Project Head Start. Nancy Reagan helped end drug abuse in America. Laura Bush took on the, the project of education. And of course, Michelle Obama took on the issue of childhood obesity and, and eating generally and fruits and vegetables and all that. And so now Bill Clinton First is somehow he's going to be in charge of revitalizing the economy as a co-president, as a co-ruler in America. So how is that going to work out? Is it even legal or constitutional? And is that who we are and what we want, that we elect husband and wife duos in the United States? Right, because in the, in the beginning, remember, she said, I don't need my husband. My husband's in, in retirement. Now she's bringing him out, saying he can help me in places where I haven't done so well with the coal industry. Well, it, it, it's really testament to some of the pitiful uh, unfavorables that she has and, and, and the poll numbers that she's seeing that she needs to cleave on to the perceived record of her, uh, of, of her president, husband. Uh, what is the model for this? Historically, there have been models for husband and wife rulers in the world. Imelda and Ferdinand mm -hmm. Marcos in the Philippines, of course. Juan and Eva Perón in Argentina. Woodrow Wilson, who became disabled, and then his wife stepped in. And then, of course, as we mentioned at the beginning, the incredible Frank and Claire Underwood. Has Netflix come to America <laughs> for real? We will have to see. They are, do you call them a team, a partnership? I mean, it's definitely, if you watch the show, it is, they're in it together. Oh, they're a team. Yeah. Yes. Thanks so much. Okay. PJJ, good see to see you.